Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'd like to show you how to make this nice and very simple headband. I will be using Angora yarn. It's 80% Angora and 20% nylon, 25 grams and 200 meters. I will be adding merino wool to this Angora, which is uh, extra fine merino wool, 100 grams and 1400 meters. I made a ball of this yarn and I put two threads together because I would like to add two threads to one Angora. So I'm going to be knitting with three threads all together. I will be using circular needle size 275 millimeters or US size number two. It's short tips. They are only 4.5 centimeters long and the cable is 13 centimeters. I chose these needles because I would like to knit this headband in rounds and this needle seems to be a perfect size to knit in round. According to the swatch that I made, in one centimeter I have three loops. I would like my headband to be about nine centimeters wide and because I'm going to be knitting in rounds, so I'm going to multiply this nine centimeters by two and I'm going to get 18. So according to that I have to cast on 54 loops. Because headband is stretchers and it stretchers in length, I have to take it into consideration and I'm going to add six more loops to the knitting plus one more to close the round because I'm going to be knitting in round. Any method of casting on can be used for knitting the headband. I'm going to show you the one that I'm using. I will use two needle tips to cast on loops in this way the end where I'm gonna start the knitting will be stretchy. So I'm taking two needle tips, I'm holding my yarn, leaving shorter end of the yarn on the right side and the working yarn as it comes uh, to the ball I'm gonna leave on the left side. So I'm holding it this way, just holding both yarns with my fingers, going with needle tips from behind taking the yarn that I have uh, beside my thumb. I have now a loop. Now I am going for this yarn and taking it through the loop that I have right in the middle. So now I have loop and I can uh, release this yarn and just make a loop. Now I'm gonna switch my yarn. I will continue casting on the rest of the loops using regular method. So I'm taking this yarn closer from my thumb, going for the yarn from, that goes to the index finger, making a loop and releasing the yarn from the thumb. This was one loop. And I will continue with the same way. I cast on 20 loops and I see that I don't have uh, more space to continue casting on. So I'm going to take one of the tips place my loops on the cord and continue casting on the other part of loops. I will take out needle tip again. and continue with the last part of casting on.
take a needle tip distributing our loops on our cord and needle tips making sure that our loops are not twisted and now we have to close our circle i have to place my very last loop on the left needle and i have to take my first loop through the last one so i'm going over with my last loop and placing my very first loop from the left needle to the right needle now my loop the, the very last one is right in the middle of the loops and i have just to tighten it like that and that's how we close in our circle i'm gonna leave this first loop on the right needle without knitting it and continue knitting all the loops that i have right now on the left needle because i'm going to be knitting in circles and i chose a very simple pattern it's talking that pattern i have to knit all the loops in all the rounds and i will be knitting them till they're knitted lengths for my size i have to knit about 50 centimeters in length along the way i'm gonna try it on and just make sure that i have the needed length but i have to take into consideration that it's hairband and it's gonna be stretchy so i don't need exactly the volume uh, for my head so my first round I will be knitting very carefully every loop first couple of rows will be a little challenging because you're just starting to knit and you have to use get used to tension to knitting in rounds on small needle tips but when you need a couple of rolls, it's gonna get easier. So our first row is done. And this is indication that we started our row here. So our shorter end of the yarn gonna be uh, just one loop before our middle. If you'd like, you can also use a marker, but for me, it's okay. I can see it just with this uh, shorter end of the yarn. And also because there is no pattern in my knitting, so it's gonna be easy uh, just to continue knitting stocking net until uh, the needed length. I see that all my loops facing the same side, so they are not twisted, that's very good. And uh, in my next uh, rows, in my next rounds, I have to make sure that I'm not twisting my loop. In my first row, I was taking my loops by the back side of the loop. If I'm gonna continue knitting the same way, my loops gonna be twisted, so I want to make sure it's not gonna happen. Because of that, I have to knit it, taking it by the first half or by the front half of the loop and all the other ones as well so if you're going to take a closer look you'll see that now my loops are not twisted and i'm going to continue doing the same way so they are not going to become twisted and just knit in the round I will continue knitting using the same stocking net pattern, just making all the knits on uh, every row that I'm gonna make till the length I need, so it's about 50 centimeters. I'm gonna show you my progress when I uh, knitted a little bit and then more, and I'm gonna meet you when I knitted all the lengths, about 50 centimeters. I'm gonna show you how to close knitting and how to attach, how to sew together part so the hairband gonna have a little knot just in the middle.
I finished knitting the length of my headband. Right now it is 53 centimeters and I'm ready to cast off my loops. I will be casting off my loops using one of the simplest methods. First loop I'm going to knit, taking it by the uh, front half of the loop. Then I'm gonna bring this loop back on my left needle and another one too. Also, because this loop is uh, uh, positioned the same as this one, but I'm going to be putting it on top of this one and I want it to look like that. So I want it to look straight. Now I'm going to take the second loop through the first one, through the one that I just untwisted. Now this loop is also twisted, so I want it to place straight as well. I'm going to tighten it a little. And I will be going with other loops in the same way. So I'm going to be knitting one loop. I will place both loops on the left needle. And I'm going to uh, place this first loop over the next one and take the second loop through the first one and after that I'm going to untwist this loop so it's going to look like that because I'm untwisting them uh, this uh, border looks uh, really nice and loops are not twisted so again knitting the loop bringing them back on the left needle taking one loop through the other one and placing them in this way so it's going to be untwisted Again, knitting. I will continue in the same way with all the loops. Just to know the last loop. Now I'm gonna just leave a little end and cut the yarn. For the next part, I'm not going to need uh, my knitting needles. Instead, I'm going to use yarn needle. So I have long end of the yarn on one side. If you don't have it in the beginning, you can leave it when you're casting off. But because uh, I already had it on one side, that's why I left only short end of the yarn on this side. Now I'm going to just um, hide this end inside. I'm going to start with a short one. I'm going to go in this V over here. And I will bring these ends together. And I will wave this end in my knitting here. Just making some zigzags. A little bit on one side. And on this side. I'm gonna cut the rest of the yarn. 
I am ready to join my headband. I place the yarn that I'm going to be using to sew the parts together in the middle on this side. So when I'm going to fold this part, this yarn going to be somewhere in the middle. I'm folding this side. I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to take the other one. I'm going to fold it as well. So I'm folding them facing one another. Now I want to open them and place them like that. So one side going to be covering another one. I can turn it on this side. And to sew the parts together, I'm going to be taking one part. And I want to go right now through all the parts. And I want to bring my yarn right here on this end. And when I'm going to be attaching them, I want to go through all the sides that I have. So like this one is folded, another one as well here. And I'm going to take this part too. And I'm going to go till the very end here. And going on the other side, also taking all the parts. Just remember that we have to go through all the layers that we have. So we finished attaching all the parts together. Let's check what we have on the right side of the work. No parts is sticking here because if it happens that one of the layers are um, not going to be sewn together, you can see it here. It's going to be open here on one side or another one. Let's double check all of them. On the right side of the work, our headband is going to look like that. Now we can hide this end of the yarn inside. And cut the rest. Our work is done. That's how headband looks after it's been washed and dried. I wash it in a cold water with, a sh with some shampoo and dry it flat. It's very soft and it's stretchy because we have a merino wool added. And for the size it's 10 centimeters wide and for the length when it's not stretched it's 49 centimeters long but we can stretch it and it's gonna go up to 58, 59. If you'd like you can decorate your headband with some beads depending on your size and your preferences. For now I would like to leave it without beads. Thank you for watching, good luck with your projects and I'll see you in the next videos.